And there are all kinds of videos in here. Look, there's you! Yeah. Racket fans waited six long years to watch Vanellope and Ralph embark on their newest and even crazier adventure. We're guessing that Disney Writer's Room was loaded with ideas and storylines that just didn't make the cut into the final film that we all know and love. But don't worry, we won't leave you hanging. Today, we're gonna go through all the crazy ideas and amazing deleted scenes that we think would make this flick even better. Who are all you? We're friends of Vanellope's. <laughs> One of the film's biggest highlights is the 13 Disney princesses that Vanellope stumbles upon during her quest. <gasps> uh, hi. While the princesses certainly make their mark on the movies, the directors revealed they actually cut part of their scenes. Here's one of those cuts. When we think of Princess Jasmine, we immediately think of her furry companion, Raja. Before being cut, there was a scene showing Jasmine actually being allergic to Raja. The joke was supposed to be Jasmine huffing and puffing on an inhaler and Raja giving her a side eye. Ultimately, this cute little interaction was taken out and we honestly can't see why. Your princess BFF is Snow White. Another iconic princess that makes her way into Wreck-It Ralph 2 is the one and only Snow White. Before being cut, the movie attempted to explain why Snow White always looks so surprised. Apparently, her constantly wide eyes were supposed to be because our girl Snow is legally blind, but never wore her glasses. We guess that's because beauty is pain, or in Snow White's case, blurry is beauty. He is a princess! Another cool moment we hoped would make it into the movies is actually a bunch of selfies. Before the release of the film, selfies of Vanellope with all the 13 princesses featured in the film started to circulate the internet. Silly shots and beauty shots of all the girls would have been really cool. While it's not clear if those pictures were merely intended for marketing purposes and not for the final movies, we still kind of got our hopes up. Five minutes, princesses. In 2012, Disney paid over $4 billion to acquire the rights to Star Wars, so it makes sense that they want to get their money's worth by adding iconic Star Wars characters to an already stacked Wreck-It Ralph 2 cast. Unfortunately for Star Wars diehard fans, C-3PO's extended scene is cut quite short. When C-3PO comes into the green room, the worst supposed princesses poke fun at the robot. In this cute encounter, Cinderella mistakenly calls him R2-D2. Sleeping Beauty steps in to tell Cinderella that C-3PO hates being called that, but then follows up by saying, Be right there, BB-8. Having had enough of the trolling princesses, C-3PO leaves and exclaims, Such insolence! You're good with princesses, they said. You'll love this job. Oh, how I long for the days of Captain Solo. The hilarious scene was probably trimmed in order to make room for the insane amount of high-profile characters in the movie. This way. Speaking of C-3PO, here's another blow to Star Wars fans. The Last Jedi's ruthless villain Kylo Ren was originally supposed to make an appearance in Wreck-It Ralph 2. In the Star Wars trilogy, Ren is portrayed as a very serious, dark character, one you wouldn't typically find in an animated movie. Wreck-It Ralph's 2 director, Rich Moore, revealed they originally wanted to make a joke about Kylo Ren, being a spoiled bratty child. Unfortunately, the idea was quickly nixed by Lucasfilm, who said they'd really prefer if Disney left their villain alone. To the disappointment of the directors and Star Wars fans everywhere, that bit of loving satire never made its way into the movie. I failed you, Ben. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. Hey, Mo, did you like the movie, sweetie? Well... Fans who are in the know know to stay until the very end of the credits. In the case of Wreck-It Ralph 2, savvy fans are rewarded with not one, but two additional scenes. The hilarious pancake milkshake scene probably seemed familiar to some, as it was included in the first teaser trailer. After going into production, the filmmakers were stuck making a difficult choice. They realized that the scene just didn't work in the film, but because they released it to the public, it had to be there, if at all possible. It's crazy to think how much the movie must have changed. One of the director even states, we would have bet money this is going to be in. To to make matters even worse, people were so crazy about the bunny in the deleted scene, toys were even being modeled after it. Luckily, the directors finally came up with a solution to add the scene after the credits. Whew. Another set of superstar characters that didn't make the cut are none other than Mario and Luigi. And before you Google it, no, Disney does not actually own the rights to the dynamic duo. The directors had to make a deal with tech giant Nintendo in order to put them in the movie. During the production of the original Wreck-It Ralph movie, the directors intended on using Mario and Luigi but eventually decided against it. However, when making the second film, director Rich Moore stated he did want Mario to appear. Sadly for Super Mario fans, by the time the sequel was in production, the rights had run out and were no longer available to Disney. <laughs> Uh, I excuse me. Huh? 
Fan favorites, Fixit Felix and Calhoun, had a much smaller role in Wreck-It Ralph too. Although they still had their moments, the two were originally intended to play a much larger role in the sequel. We were supposed to see how the newlyweds coping, or not, with the struggles of parenting. Parenting is horrible. No one ever tells you to be like this. Dr. Pan's beloved Tinkerbell makes a brief appearance in the final cut of Wreck-It Ralph 2, but originally she was intended for a much larger role. In the clip shown at D23, Tinkerbell tickles Ralph's nose until Ralph has had enough and insults her, playfully calling her stinker smell. The adorable moment was eventually cut before it made its way to the big screen. The cut occurred after there was a change made to the story, and the scene no longer worked with the rest of the movie. Come on, princesses and cartoon characters blame. Stormtroopers, Stan Lee, and all of the Disney princesses apparently wasn't enough for Wreck-It Ralph 2's cast. The directors intended for Vanellope to encounter none other than the Golden Girls. Although the cameo was written, planned out, and delivered to the animators, ultimately, the directors decided to cut the girls. The Golden Girls first aired back in 1985, way before Disney's target audience, so they were worried that the reference might go over people's heads. Bummer for Blanche, Rose, Dorothy, and Sophia, but lucky for us, Wreck-It Ralph 2 is doing just fine without an extra cameo. Or four. Easy there. Oh, I mean, no offense or anything. Speaking of tough cuts, this next scene was supposed to pay a cute homage to the beloved Disney classic, Lady and the Tramp. In the film, when Ralph goes to the dark net, he meets the two-headed war man Double Dan. The directors originally intended to place a Lady and the Tramp moment here. Each of the two heads were supposed to share a virus together, and just like the iconic spaghetti scene in Lady and the Tramp, the two heads were going to end up kissing. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> Is it safe? Of course it is. Next up is one of the biggest cuts on this list. The character Bev, which stands for Built to Eradicate Viruses, was cut entirely from the final film. At one point during production, Bev served as the main antagonist of the sequel. Before being nixed, Bev was supposed to be the overlord of the internet, built to eradicate all internet viruses. The character was actually supposed to be modeled after one of the film director's mothers. Eventually, like everything else on this list, the filmmakers opted to cut Bev and the idea of a villain altogether. Maybe she went down to the Airbud Pavilion. Come on, let's check it out. Fun-loving Dumbo unfortunately didn't make his way onto the big screen for the final cut of the film. During the chase sequence between Vanellope and the Stormtroopers, Vanellope was originally supposed to escape by climbing onto Dumbo's back and flying away. Instead, the final film cuts the sequence way downtown, and Vanellope merely escapes by running into the princess's dressing room. Superheroes in New York? Give me a break. Marvel's own Stan Lee was in fact quickly featured in the sequel. In the scene where Vanellope is frantically trying to get away from a gaggle of stormtroopers, she passes countless recognizable faces. During the chase, Vanellope races past Stan Lee. The scene shows Stan Lee interacting with his own creation, Iron Man, but nothing is said by Stan. This cameo was actually intended to be a part of a much larger scene. The directors initially envisioned an elaborate scene in which we'd see characters including Stan Lee marvelized by going through a special machine. The scene was ultimately cut, so fans never got to see which character Stan Lee was going to be marvelized into. Even after Stan's unfortunate passing, he's still making his way into the Marvel and Disney universes we love so much. I've always wanted to be appreciated as a real hero. So what did you make of this list? Do you think the writers should have reconsidered leaving some of these epic scenes or storylines out? Or is the movie as is the perfect balance of Disney inside jokes and easter eggs? Let us know in the comments below what your favorite scene in Wreck-It Ralph 2 is and what you hope to see in the third installment. 